Hey guys, this is Toppin. I don't know if this is the official video I'm gonna make on this machine, but we have a trash pick Troy Bill. I hate this fucking edger, but it's a TB 516 AC. We found it on a curb of someone's house, meaning we, I was with one of my uh, small engine buddies I would get in the room. He lives about eight minutes away and I met him on Facebook. Interesting. But he also does this stuff, but he's definitely to a larger scale than me because he gets to work on riders. I've never touched a rider in my life, and I wish I could, but it's not really. I can't really at this current uh, house I'm at, so I kind of just accept that I have to play with this junk. But we have a Troy Bolt TB516. It's a four-cycle motor. It's a 29cc motor, I believe, and it's really weak. It is 29ccs. And the quality of this edging, it really sucks. I would never buy this new. I think brand new, these are $299 now. They used to be probably $200 when this one was being made, but. I only stick to stick edges because they're so much better quality of cut wise. There's no reason that you can buy an Echo Edger for $250 or you can buy this piece of junk. And it has a stop switch wired here. You just press it. This is the trigger. Carb has two positions. Not sure if this blade needs to be replaced, but. To me, this is a real editor. I don't play with that garbage because the, the it doesn't really look like it edges that great. And I'll, guess I'll show you. I don't know, but we're gonna start it. That's enough talking. So again, I was riding around with my friend. He was showing me some clients that he was going to need me to mow for him when he goes on vacation. I'm going to basically take his role for a bit. And then we just drove by this. And he said he saw it the day before. I knocked on the door. The guy said, oh, yeah, we can have it. And then the, he doesn't really mess with tinies like this. And he was like, oh, no, I don't want it. You can have it. Because obviously it's kind of, I really don't like it. And that's probably kind of bad to say in a video like this to say that I don't like it. But... It really, I don't really like it that much. Um, Cause you have to push this big bulky thing. It's not bulky, this is really light. They have them with a 140cc motor that's not side mounted, it's horizontal like that. Actual 140cc edger, but. Let's get this, what was wrong with it? Pretty sure the carburetor and the fuel line was messed up. And I don't think this, I think this, I don't know if this carburetor needs to be rebuilt. Um, I put it in an ultrasonic. This is, my friend has an ultrasonic cleaner, so he just let me put it in his while we were coincidentally there talking. And he, uh, I cleaned it out as it was, and the diaphragm was pretty stiff. And another thing I noticed is this primer wouldn't return um, at all. And then... We took off the fuel filter and it started priming. So I don't think it, it can accept the fuel filter for some reason. I know that sounds really stupid, but every time you stick a fuel filter, it doesn't matter what kind, it just doesn't prime. So I guess you have to run it without a fuel filter and just hope you have clean fuel, which the fuel, and hopefully the screen inside the carb doesn't get clogged, which I don't, that's why I'm really iffy about this thing. Cause I don't want the screen getting clogged. Cause the, when we got it, there's a lot of sentiment in it. And the weird thing is there were rebuilt fuel lines on it. Oil's never been changed. I don't fucking care, really. It takes, what, 3.04 of what kind of oil? Fucking. I guess 10 weight 30. I'd have to look it up. And there might be a, um, they sell a special one with a little nozzle. Just for uh, small four cycles. But now to start it, there's only two positions. You push downwards or up. We're going to push down. And I'm going to start it for you right now. And then I didn't put, put any money into this thing. This is with a clean carb. The diaphragm was kind of stiff. I don't know if it's still going to start or not, but we're going to show you it running. I think it runs fine now. I'll do a demonstration of edging, too, to show you why I don't like it. Whoa. No way, man. And you want to put it halfway and just give it a little gap. And all the way up. Once it's warmed up, I'll give you a quick test. I don't really have anything to edge, but... 
Guess I could try it here. I'm not sure if it needs to be warmed up more or it just won't run like that, but let me put it halfway. Thing I hate about it is you see how long it took to warm up. I don't. I think the carburetor is fine as it is now, but it takes a while to warm up. That being said, look at the edging. It, I mean, it probably looks good on camera, but it's not really that great in my opinion. My stick edger sure does a much better job than this. It like just barely does anything. And here's a weed eater's edge. Look how clean that is with a weed eater. Because if you can get a better result with a weed eater. I think it's about, I think you don't need to fucking buy this thing. That's my opinion. That's why I don't like it. Because why would you spend all the 200 something dollars? You could just weed eat like that. Looks much better. But it's really clean. It's a 2012. The wheels are kind of fucked on it, but I'm going to sell it for like 120, get 100, or take it to a pawn shop. I might start taking some stuff that really is questionable to pawn shops. That way they can handle the burden if something's wrong, but I know that's pretty wrong of me. I just don't like do, I just don't like doing refunds, but I rarely have, I've never really had people ever contact me about problems, so I think we're good. So that's the Troy built, what is it? The TB516, I don't really like it, and but it was free, trash picked, and I just cleaned the carb in the ultrasonic and took off that fuel line filter, and I don't know if, we can even run it for how long or if it's just going to get clogged up and stuff. Maybe I have to buy a new car, but I don't know. But for free, even though the wheels look all jacked up and they're like bending inwards towards the top. Looks kind of stupid. It's probably a good, it's fine probably to sell. Another thing I want to do is swap this motor onto that fucking deck. This motor is a piece of shit because it won't restart hot. And you know I've tried every fucking thing from cleaning the car to putting a new coil, all that good shit. And it still won't want to restart hot. Of course I checked the, uh, what's it called? The uh, timing key. I fucking changed the timing key. I had like ordered 10 of them. Timing keys. Ignition shear keys or whatever. Bible keys. Uh, but... Anyways, thanks for watching. This is tough, and I gotta go.